We've not had a hurricane in over 30 years. As you can imagine, in a storm like this, and certainly in a tree capital USA, uh, the amount of uh, debris, uh, tree limbs, whole trees uh, that have come down, I understand we had over a thousand come down as a result of this storm. And as you can see uh, behind me, this is just one of the homes um, illustrating the kind of damage that's been done throughout our community that our volunteers here with the American Red Cross, our city and county um, uh, employees are going around, taking assessment uh, street by street, neighborhood by neighborhood of the kind of damage that our community sustained. Once that has all been pulled together, uh, that information and a cost figure will be included in our application for federal designation of disaster. Uh, once we get that designation from the federal government, fingers crossed that we're able to do that, uh, then federal resources can come in to cover the expenses uh, that the governments have incurred as a result of this storm. Um, hopefully at the individual level that individual homeowners and business owners have sustained uh, and again can begin to hopefully make us whole for what we will uh, spend, what this, uh, what this hurricane will cost our community and its citizens. Even in spite of uh, the damage that was caused in our community, not one person lost their lives in direct impact uh, from this storm. Uh, that's miraculous, um, and I'm proud that we get to say that as a community. Uh, and now we just got to get to work to getting back to 100. Over 2,200 tons have already been ported off to our um, debris station and much more to be collected all throughout the city. Uh, we're anticipating that it'll be another three or four weeks of work uh, done by uh, folks to pick that up. Um, and we're just asking that the community uh, work uh, diligently uh, to get that debris put on the side of the road so we can get it up, get it picked up, and get Tallahassee uh, looking uh, like she's used to looking, which is a beautiful capital, all-America city. The utility crews, the call center workers, the emergency responders, all of the coordinating organizations, uh, some of whom are individuals who are without power themselves, showing up every day, giving everything that they can on behalf of somebody else, surely tells a story about who we are as a community, and I'm, I'm proud, and I'm going to tell that story repeatedly that we're a community that comes together in disaster.